Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here at DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, September 23rd, 2019. Free pick coming up in just a moment. First quick note, offer still stands 33% off the rest of the football season. You can go get it right now over at DocSports.com. I'll give you an example of how to do that. Go over to DocSports.com, click on my handicappers homepage. Click on the rest of the football season, which includes both college football and the NFL, all one package. And when you do click on that package, a box will pop up. It'll tell you to enter a code, and that code is FB Season 33. FB Season 33. You'll get 33% off the rest of the season in football. And again, that includes both college football and the NFL. FB Season 33, 33% off the rest of the season, college football and the NFL. All right, uh, we're going to get to what we did over the weekend in just a second. First, I want to tell you what's going on on Monday. Now, if you already grabbed the football package for this week, then you already got my Monday night football play. It's a side on Monday. Uh, nothing's changed. We didn't add to it. We never add to it after Thursdays. Uh, so that plays the same. So if you've already purchased this week's football package, don't sweat it. You don't have to purchase anything else in football if you want to play the Monday night football game. If you have yet to jump on board, it's still there. Monday night football. My play is available over at DocSports.com. And we're coming off a winning Sunday. Uh, we cashed two out of three yesterday in the NFL. We won the six-star play. Uh, that was a, a winner with the Carolina Panthers. And uh, here's what we did overall for the weekend, by the way. Uh, we ended up picking up 20.6 units of profit, all sports combined, as I said yesterday, and that includes 1.5 units won on Saturday in college football, three units won in Major League Baseball, six units won in NASCAR, 5.1 units won in the NFL, five units won in the WNBA, 10.5 units of profit on Saturday, followed by 10.1 units of profit on Sunday. Listen, I know last Sunday was bad for me on September 15th, and if you got my plays last Sunday in the NFL, you had a bad day also, but we rebounded this week. We've now turned a profit units-wise in the NFL in weeks one, and in weeks three, college football's second straight week, we've picked up some units, picked up a little profit units-wise in college football. So kind of following what we did last year in football, when we started out slow about the first three weeks and then caught fire and then won nine of the last 10 weeks of the regular season in college football. Had the great NFL and college football run combined. And uh, again, we're coming off 20.6 units of profit, all sports combined this weekend, including picking up units in NFL, college football, WNBA, NASCAR, Major League Baseball, and we thank all of you who jumped on board. Now, besides NFL Monday Night Football over at DocSports.com for me on Monday, I've also got baseball. It's a short card, and I've got a free pick in baseball coming up on a side in just a moment, but I've also got a total from Monday's card. Three-star total, Major League Baseball on Monday. We cashed on uh, Saturday in baseball past yesterday's diamond card. I went over it a couple of times, and thankfully we did pass uh, because I was probably going to, I was that close to playing the Chicago Cubs and we held off and uh, you saw they lost for the fourth straight time uh, by one run to their chief rival the St. Louis Cardinals so glad we passed in baseball on Sunday but we're back in action on Monday 60% winning tickets in baseball so far in the month of September for us go over to DocSports.com 11.30 a.m. Eastern 8.30 a.m. Pacific uh, to grab the total in baseball if you wish and as far as the WNBA no games on Monday they resume on Tuesday Tuesday, uh, we picked up another five-unit winner on Sunday in the WNBA with Connecticut. They were getting five and a half from LA, one outright by 22. Nice 27 and a half point cover for us uh, in the WNBA. That extends those WNBA runs, by the way, to 17 and eight short term, 43, 23 and two long term. We'll be back in action on Tuesday. Tell you more about that on Tuesday's video. All right, before we get to the free pick for Monday, as always, it is time for the opening line report college football for the new week. As we told you, at the beginning of the season. We we're going to tell you where Circa opened since they wanted to be the first to open the lines this year in football. And we'll tell you where they were hit the hardest by sharp action on Sunday evening and Sunday afternoon. And let's jump right into it. We look at game 105-106, Duke at Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech opened seven at Circa. It's now two and a half. The lines moved four and a half points towards Duke. That game uh, being played in Blacksburg. Uh, Air Force opened 24 at home to San Jose State. Money coming in on the Spartans. They got the huge road win outside of the conference at Arkansas over the weekend. Uh, Air Force 
has gone from a 24 point favorite down to a 20 and a half point favorite. Also Saturday action, Wake Forest has gone from a three point road favorite at Boston College up to five and a half. Last time we saw BC on national TV, they were getting upset at home by the Kansas Jayhawks. Uh, Buffalo at Miami on Saturday. Uh, Buffalo just crushed Temple the other day. Temple off the big win over Maryland and then gets squashed by the Buffalo Bulls. Miami, Ohio opened five at home over Buffalo. It's been bet down to two and a half. Iowa State at Baylor, interesting Big 12 clash in this one and the money coming in on Iowa State. Circa opened the Baylor Bears a three and a half point home favorite. Guess what? The Iowa State Cyclones as of about midnight Pacific time going into Monday. Well, Iowa State's now a two point favorite. Five and a half point line adjustment from where the Circa opened it. UNLV at Wyoming. And listen, we might be on Wyoming this week. I want to check out the injuries. They got a little banged up in the game at Tulsa, but they have been the side that has been bet thus far. Sometimes I like to jump in on Sundays, but we got to wait, make sure there's no serious injury problems with the Wyoming Cowboys. But they're at home to UNLV. Uh, Wyoming opened seven. They are up to nine and a half. Stanford at Oregon State. Stanford off back-to-back -back losses. Lost to uh, Central Florida a couple weeks ago. This past weekend, get knocked off by the Oregon Ducks. They're on the road at Oregon State. Stanford opened five and a half. That is down to three. That game circled, by the way, Oregon State running back Jamar Jefferson uh, listed as questionable. He's got about 270 yards so far rushing on the season. Clemson at North Carolina. Clemson opened 28 and a half. That's down to 26. Kansas at TCU. Upstart Kansas getting the action here. TCU opened 20 off the loss to SMU. Uh, they are down to 16 and a half. They were at home to Kansas. Kansas State at Oklahoma State. This is going to be one of our 10 in 10 games that we do. And we'll have that, by the way, those videos for you on Wednesday. Uh, but Kansas State opened a seven and a half point underdog at Oklahoma State, who's off the big game against Texas. All the action on the Wildcats, that line adjusted down to three and a half, four point move on K State, the visitor. Florida Atlantic at Charlotte. Charlotte opened two and a half over FAU. They are down to pick them. East Carolina opened a one and a half point road favorite over Old Dominion. Old Dominion just gave Virginia all they could handle. 28-17 Cavaliers win. Old Dominion now a three and a half point favorite at home after opening the one and a half point dog. Arkansas State at Troy. Uh, Troy opened three. They're up to five and a half. Hey, UAB getting money. UAB, I think, has surprised some people because they lost everybody from last year, basically. Uh, had to replace right across the board on both lines of scrimmage and replace a lot of faces. Uh, but they're getting the money in this game at Western Kentucky. UAB opened up a three and a half point road dog. They are now a one and a half point road favorite. So there's your big changes uh, so far. What opened up at the circuit, and then, of course, those that have moved two and a half points or more uh, throughout Sunday and into Sunday night and uh, again we're cutting this video around midnight Pacific 3 a.m. Eastern time on on Monday morning so uh, got a good chunk of hours there uh, to let you know exactly where the line movement has gone in college football since those numbers were open all right let's get to the free pick again a real quick note we have a total from Monday's short baseball card but a total on Monday that'll be available at 1130 a.m. Eastern 830 a.m. Pacific and of course the Monday night football game available as I speak if you got it already We've added nothing new. You don't need to go back and buy it again on Monday. If you haven't got it and you want uh, a recommendation, a play for Monday, then it's there at DocSports.com as we speak. All right, free pick from baseball action. It is the battle between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Diamondbacks. The game in Arizona will be uh, Adam Wainwright for the Redbirds, Alex Young going for the Snakes. And right now, uh, Arizona, the team that we're going to recommend, getting about a dollar fifteen short underdog here. But Alex Young, last five games, buck seventy eight ERA. 119 whip. His team's on a 12 and 5 run at home. And as far as the Cardinals are concerned, listen, we had Wayno in his last time out. We got a nice win when he took on Scherzer. Uh, he's now on the road where his team's just 1 and 7 in his last eight road starts. But here's the biggest thing about this game. I think it's a real tough spot for St. Louis. Listen, they clinched a playoff berth last night. We don't care about that. We're not basing this as though they are going to go out and party because they still have a division to win. Uh, so it's not based on anything like that. More often than not, you see teams that party to division win or a playoff berth come back the next day and get a victory like the Braves did. I think it was on Saturday over San Francisco. So that's not the reason for this, but we got a good starting pitcher at home. We got a team on a 12 and 5 run at home. And then as far as Wainwright is concerned, besides the fact that the Cardinals have only won one of his last eight 
road starts. They just got done sweeping the Cubbies, their chief rivals, in four games. They swept them Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, each game by just one run, all intense games. <clears throat> Excuse me, they had to come back in a couple of those games in the late innings. I mean, they beat me on Friday. I had the Cubbies. I was sitting there doing my v show at 1 o'clock Pacific time with Patrick Maher. And uh, doing that show on Friday, I had to watch the Cubbies blow some chances. We came back with St. Louis, though, on Saturday and got the victory. When they came from behind, they were down 8-7. They win 9-8. Yesterday, you saw them come from behind again and, and capture the late inning victory. I, I think it's going to be tough for them here uh, to come back to earth, so to speak, against Aaron. Arizona. So we're going to recommend a play on the Arizona Diamondbacks. Good home pitcher, 12 and 5 run by the team at home. Wayne Wright, his team 1 and 7 on the road in his last eight. Let's back the Arizona Diamondbacks. And it's a short dog as I cut this video. All right, that's going to do it for us for Monday. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. And don't forget Tuesday's video, which will be up at least by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific, if not a little bit earlier. We will have our NFL Week 3 recap. NFL recap every single single Tuesday. It'll be a long video, uh, but j definitely come on board for the ride. That'll be Tuesday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific at the latest. It's going to do it for us for Monday. Let's put Monday in the win column. And if you like these videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Talk to you again Tuesday morning.